Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bootables. I've been gone for too long. I need to get that fixed. I need to get back on here and get some content up. So, to facilitate that, and by chance, I happened to find eight computers for $40 at a local auction. Uh, they're all, I believe, about 10 years old. Uh, they're listing, it's just eight computers uh mainly uh sempron 140s with one gig of ram they don't have hard drives in them because i believe they may have come out of a teaching type place so they pulled the hard drives but yeah i got eight computers for 40 dollars, and i thought we'd go through a bit have a look see what we managed to get um and i was just stoked to get the cases of course i want to play around with the cases and i was just getting one case cheap cases for $40 is hard so I got eight cases to play with and there's bits in them so I thought we I'd go through I don't even know what's in most of them one of them says it's got two gig of RAM and it's in this this is a cooler master case I really quite like this one so it's cool and the other six are all the same in kind of a fairly generic uh, like classroom type case but they're, they're kind of cool older cases um, and yeah, as I said, I think we'll, I was going to open them up, have a look inside, see if we got anything. Um, I'm going to try and recycle some of the parts back out onto the market. Um, hopefully some of the processors and RAM um, and motherboards are useful um, for the secondary market for people. Um, I'm going to try and get one of them up and running put whatever the best parts of whatever we got here back together and try and get one running. I don't have a spare hard drive sitting around at the moment, so I gotta get one of them to actually boot one of these, but I should be able to at least plug them in and see if we can post. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through. This is my least favorite of all of them. Um, like sort of bubbly old type front. But even it, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm going to try and make it come up something cool. Um, it's actually got a lot of vents on both sides. Um, a lot of vents on that side and venting on that side. So it could be quite good for cooling. And even in the modern day, something, the front's kind of cool. Um, need to obviously piss off the floppy drive, redo something with the paneling. And I think most of these uh, will need um, some SSD drive bays put in. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna see if I can, depending on what's in them, update them to USB 3 and whatnot. So if I, I wanna turn these into modern functioning cases um, out of what these got, because they're, they're nice, heavy, solid cases, um, which you can't get for a, $40 case so that's the main thing but let's um rip into this first one and have a look see at what's inside of it so as I said I believe they've all got somewhere around semprons which are uh, 140s, which I believe were uh, about a 2.5 or 2.7 gig processor. So, hopefully, we've got some cool bits and pieces. Cooling duct. It's a nice solid side panel. What do we got in here? We have some dust. Uh, looks like we have maybe two gig of RAM. There's two sticks in there. This has a wireless card and a graphics card. So yeah, we have a D, some form of DVI graphics card. And 
a wireless card. And it looks like yeah, two gig of RAM. And what do we got here? A little power supply. I don't think the power supplies in these will be all that useful, but maybe for some small systems. Uh, 350 watt max output. Uh, 200 watt max fuse rating. So I guess that's like 200 watt max. Um, and we've got a floppy drive, and yeah, there's a CD drive in all of these, so they may be useful. But let's have a look see in here. We've got some old school IDE cables. Yep, so we've got two one gig sticks of strontium. Strontium RAM. It's different, that's Elixir. One gigabyte. That one's different, that one's a blue one. So they're mismatched bits and pieces. They probably just got chucked together at some point. But I was happy that to pick up a bunch of old systems that weren't just Dells with all their proprietary stuff. All this is just normal bits and bobs. So I'm hoping that, that some of these parts may be useful to people. N62256 DB2RH. So I'll have to look that one up. But yeah, there's a little gigabyte graphics card, and now we have this wireless card with three antennas. It's a TP link, 300 megabits per second. I mean, not all that useful today, but I'm sure it was very good in its time. But yes, the reliable choice. And then, so for the motherboard, we, and then we have an MSI motherboard. Uh, MS7142 version 1. Let's up our CPU off. CPU cover off and have a look see under there.
Eric, unhook. Paste is very, very dry. We got a little AMD cooler. And yes, we have a Semper on of some variety. Two thousand and one. So it's a Sempron. Again, I'm not sure which model that is. An SDA two eight zero zero AI zero three BX. And there's a bunch of others. But yep. So we got that little Sempron. Doesn't seem to be any brand on the case. So, still don't seem to know what brand the case is. There was another lot of eight, but another guy beat me on those. There was a um, big Antec case and another different Cooler Master one that I liked in that lot. But. We got this one. A little red MSI motherboard. <coughs> so it's all quite nice. So yes.
so we'll look that up and see what that little guy was about. So imagine that that's pretty much what's similar to what's in all of these. I think this one and this one will be slightly different and then those will all be the same. But yeah, we'll have a quick squeezy into them. I won't pull every one of them apart, but we'll open them up and have a bit of a look. So, but that's the first one. We might as well take the power supply out. jumper tape to the top of it There's a standard old school power supply. So yeah, the fuse rating was yeah, 200 watts. So, three feet up. so I'm sure it was a good quality one. And I'll sit one here and I guess we'll use it as a test bench one for the rest of these bits, but yeah, there we go. Nice solid frame. And depending on what people kind of need, that's not one, two, three, four, that's four hard drive bays. Another, yeah, so four, five, six. You could have six hard drives and then just take that out. And if I swap that out for a, um, a, a SSD tray, then you could have four, four SSDs up in, um, up in each slot there. So you could have eight SSDs and six hard drives all along there. If you really wanted to make this into a little, like, complete media like storage beast uh, and it still looks like it'll take a full ATX motherboard so yeah, everything will need to just I have to get try and get um, if I can get ones that fit nicely or remold it a bit um, USB 3 and newer audio cables and stuff to just update the front panels solid case still. and I think getting rid of that stuff and updating that that bit is cool I don't mind that we just need to make this more cohesive as the two weird things that up yeah but it looks like it's got a lot of cool things. I mean even the other choices like rip all this out and you got a two like a hell of a lot of cooling you could probably fit a big rad in the front there um, and water cooling in here and possibly a rad at the back behind it with still vents so there's options is that one that looks like all we'll unrivet it fairly smoothly and just all just pop out without destroying the structure of the case I think 
We'll see. But yeah, so there's some options with it. And so that's what I think with these old ones, if I can recycle them. That's a lot more case than you get in a lot of cases these days. So from there, that's what we got out of it. So we got graphics card and two gig of RAM, Sempron processor and MSI motherboard. So, I mean, I'm hoping somebody might need some of these things. And I mean, five or five or six bucks or 10 bucks or something for the lot. And you know, they could make a little retro gaming system. I mean, I don't know if I want to settle the power supplies since they've been sitting in storage and stuff and I don't really know them, although I'm going to plug them in. The rest of it is I'll test them. And yeah, so I'll leave those bits there for now for comparison. And we'll have another, we'll have a look in this other one where they think it's going to be different. And I like this case, it's beat up. Let's see, this one says 2.51 gigahertz or two times one gig of RAM. So, we'll see what we got in this one. This one doesn't have a graphics card or a Wi-Fi card. Looks like a very similar motherboard, but a different fan. No fan in the back of this one. The other one had fan in the back and on the and the venting straight off the CPU fan. This one doesn't. But it's still got some nice big cutouts for airflow, like straight on your graphics card. That's going to breathe quite nicely. Four twenty watt power supply. What have we got here? We got MSI again. Yeah, it looks to be a seven three oh nine version one. Give me two gig of room. Are they matching ones this time? This at least has SATA for the drive, so that might actually be usable. The other ones are IDE. And we'll find out what else ones. But what do we got? Yeah, the uh, Elixir. We've got matching sticks. And loads of fluff. And yeah, two one gig sticks. I kind of want to see if this one boots. So. I'm not going to pull the processor out just yet. We'll see if we can get it to turn on. And tell us what's in there. So yes, we'll have to wait to find out if it works. But I do have a card that I can put in it, so that's cool. I think that with a 650 Ti be a cool little retro gaming machine. But do up all the case. 
So I guess that's that one for now. So yeah, I find my DVI to HDMI converter plug. I have one somewhere, I believe, or I'll grab another one. Um, then I can test these out because I don't have any DVI inputting monitors anymore. But yeah, that could be cool. 420 power supply that will run that. That could be quite nice. I like, I like that case. I like this where the buttons are, buttons and side panels, front panels all down the side. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think if you take off this whole front and just actually do it in a proper mesh, like a full mesh, so you don't have the drive bays. And then like, you got loads of room here for a full size graphics card, which is fantastic. Still fit, you know, um, multiple SSD drives up in there and um, hard drive up there that can hang there's another one that can hang in there so I reckon SSDs yeah you can fit three two and a half inch drives they're easy and yeah and that actually leave that I could I might leave that optical drive in there if I do make it retro can always have something you can put a disc into Yeah, I just really like it. I'm not sure what colour I'll go with. I think reversing it somewhat and going with a chromey black grill and then doing black and silver or something. Or, I don't know. But it needs a good fix up. It's scratched up to hell. So it needs to be all stripped back. And now we'll check it out one of these. But I believe they'll all just be the same, they all look the same. And they're all pretty plain computer science looking cases, but yet again, they're nice and solid. And I think with some work to um, like redoing that panel out and updating this and stuff, I think could work out. If not, I just gives me something to practice on. Um, that was cheap and yeah, yeah they're nice solid cases and I'm guessing it probably has similar to what we first pulled out um, doesn't have a graphics card so I think it might be only the one with a graphics card yeah I don't see any of those Got another side vent. What have we got? Oh, we got a blue gigabyte board. So, again, this one's got a hell of a lot of nice space in it. Actually, that, if they're all like that, that's great. I was worried these were all going to be all filled up and have no airflow. I think it's going to take some changes at the front there, but it's actually got quite a lot. That vent already goes down and it's not very efficient. It's pretty much blocked, but there is holes. There's a fan slot there. Um, and again, this cage can come off. It's only like small in there, so you can fit a big graphics card in. You can fit a motherboard in because it can go in under the corner there fit a bigger power supply and ditch this bit and just put some SSD um, trays maybe along the bottom and update that. I reckon actually these could be quite fantastic cases. So yeah, they're going to take a bit of work to get them like modernized, but that is a solid little case. And they're going to come up quite nicely. Yeah, so that's awesome. K 
take management thing man. Sweet. I really have the other gun that I'm modernized yet. Sweet as. And what do we got? We got an Alexa. Uh, two gigabytes. Cool. We've got two gigs, so that means and if we can find more of them, if they've all got two gig in it, then we can put four gig into that other one and that will really rock four gig. 650 Ti, I mean, that would have been awesome a while ago. Thumb screw inside for a little flip down cover to secure your screws. I like that. That is really nice. That's a cool little simple cover system. Another TP link. 300 megabytes so yeah I guess they're all gonna have those in them they all look the same and it's a gigabyte MA74G M2S2 uh, MTS2 sorry so we'll have a look it's inside of two it's, um, That's a that's a SATA, another SATA optical drive. So I guess if they're all SATA, SATA optical drives, at least they're still usable. They're nothing special. I don't think they're even burners. I think they're just readers, just CD readers probably. But hmm. they are still usable. They will still really need a CD. So um, I guess we'll have a look at this processor and yet again assume they're all going to be a bit the same. Uh, much smaller little cooler. With very non-existent paste. See it again. I said these ones, Sempron, this one's from 2009. So it's a lot better. Pro that one's a much, I guess that one's much older. Oh, yeah. This one, the older one, the 2001, which we'll look up, was made in China. And this one was diffused in Germany and made in Malaysia. It's an SDX140HBK13GQ. So, I'll look that up and I'll put up the model numbers. But yeah, shape, size. You can see the different pin count though. So, that's cool if we've got six of these guys. From 2009, they should be like, still as fair as serviceable as a retro machine. But that means that one from 2001 is really, really retro. <laughs> and what have we got in here? Uh, 420 pa watt power supply. So, cool. And yeah, so nice blue. 
case full of screws. Yeah, there's a lot of metal that can be removed <coughs> to open up that front. Because yet again, I think like mesh or like just fans or something up the front there with, I mean, even, yeah, you can do like multiple things. So, but I've got six of them that are exactly the same. So we're gonna try and play, we're gonna be playing around with them and finding out what we can do. But I'm quite happy with that. I think some of these parts will at least fetch like 10 or 20 bucks and I should be able to make my money back and then have free cases to make up. So I don't think I'll crack all these. We'll crack one more and see if it looks the same as that one. So I don't know why, but we'll go for the middle one down there. DTDO2 wherever that was used. Yeah, this one has a, at least a black power supply on the back grill, so it might be different. At least well, the power supply will be different. Let's see what else is different. similar exactly the same it's got actually a much nicer it's got a Corsair 450 power supply so I guess that got put in at some place yeah actually as a note here the power supply was placed replaced on the 31st of the 10th 14 so there's the warranty from Corsair for the power supply. <laughs> so yeah, uh, nearly six years old, but that actually is a decent, it's got a bunch of cables. Does it have more power than that other one? That might help me get a bigger graphics card hooked up that doesn't need DVI. Yes, yes it does. Excellent. So actually we'll be able to test it. I'll be able to put the big one in because I needed a six and an eight. So we have a six and an, and a, an eight capability now. Cool, so we can... I mean, I guess we can plug that graphics card straight in here and see if this one will will turn on so let's have a look at that to get this network card out of the way it doesn't have replaceable covers for science. for the 970 
It's, it's an absolute beast. That's pretty much as big a graphics card as you're ever gonna like find, and it fits in there very comfortably. See if we can get a post. Glad I randomly picked that one. To open. I didn't even look at the back for the power supply, I just picked that one. keyboards or anything attached but let's just see if we can get it to display all right we have whirring we have a beep do we get output graphics card are spinning there's some cables in the way Oh well. There's multiple reasons. I have no idea whether that graphics card works. And yeah. Back to needing some form of DVI connection to test the onboard bits and whatnot but it turns on everything comes on it powers on 
and we did get a nice post beep so it means it should all be fine and I'm going to just say that this graphics card's unknown slash that board just may not have any way of dealing with this card as well I'll just be like, ah, uh, yeah, dude, that is from the future. We have a lot of bits we can test out. Graphics card. to gig of RAM. Let's see. Yes. So we do we got two gig of RAM. So we can put four gig of RAM in these guys. And actually I think I have more DDR3 RAM hanging around. Gigabyte AM3 motherboard, and yeah, score on that. That's going to be a cool little test bench. I needed a better than that one, at least a test bench um, power supply, so it didn't explode. And now I kind of want to see if there's anything else exciting hiding in any of these. Does any others have a different? Power supply, that one does. That one's got another black back. So does that. Alright. Looks like we're at least cracking them all open. Say a 350 watt. Does this one have a note telling us when it was put in? No, it doesn't seem so. But yeah, same everything else, gigabyte. Just with a Corsair 350 watt. basically useless unless you're running some just micro system but cool they all just say they're 420 watts so I'm gonna assume they're just the same default ones we saw in there, but we'll check this last one for another course there. Uh, so surely someone went overkill and just bought like a 600 watt. They're probably quite nice motherboards when they came out. They got a hell of a lot of USB on them. sure where they were one of them has a note about not being having any audio and don't use it for any audio exercises so I'm assuming a TAFE or a, some kind of learning establishment computer science or otherwise we got we got something different we got a VP450 aero cool So yeah, there's a 450 watt. 
back into the middle of the range power supply. Doesn't have PCI cables. So it's pretty low end. You know, it has a, a six. Another one. It can do an eight. Does it have a second one? It might be stuck under there. It's kind of tight up. Looks like just one eight. If you get that, will work actually for the 650 Ti. It's better than one of those ones. So that one, I have some options of bits, but yeah, it looks the same. Um, other than that. So there, that's what we got. A bunch of TP-Link uh, cards. One very old graphics card, which can go up on my wall of graphics card collection, I suppose. Although, I guess we can try it out. It's one of the very old BVI ones, so I don't know about that. Um, so, and what we got like, 12 gig of RAM out of those, 14, 15 gig of RAM, or 16 gig. So I got about 16 gig of RAM and a couple of ages of processors. And I guess that's the oldest motherboard, so have a look at that. Yeah, that's oh, AGP. So yeah, that one's definitely old school. So we'll have a look it up. So we might have two two levels. That definitely explains the old bubbly case. 2001 would definitely explain the bubbly fronted case. And why it isn't. It's like a half a case with another bit of a case sort of stacked on top. So, yeah. But anyway, so we're going to be, over the next few weeks, um, doing something with these. Um, I guess the next one I'll try and get um, some actual test bench connections set up and we'll go through and test some of these bits. And that, and I'll put up, I'll have a look around and see exactly which models and whatnot these are and when they come out and put up the information. Um, So, cool. That will do for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.